WWE Raw is about to hit the airwaves live on USA Network. How will Dolph Ziggler react to losing his World Championship so quickly on the pay-per-view on uh, payback on the payback pay-per-view uh, last Sunday, not yesterday, but last Sunday, but uh, I guess I'll put that you. What will happen with the man family power struggle that's been going on since the Triple H returned? And how will, those sh how will the sh Bill the Shield be dealt with? After what Vicky Guerrero said last week. Uh, we also got word that the main event tonight will uh, uh, supposed to be Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton in another week match. After uh, Orton got uh, counted out last Friday night. On SmackDown, uh, Danny Bryan is uh, obsessed with actually winning a match against uh, Randy Orton to prove that he's not the weak link. Uh, plus, what will happen with the world's strongest man after uh, pulling off that match for uh, Ram uh, Oscar Award, Oscar Award, uh, Caliber? Performance on Raw. Well, he and ambushing uh, John Cena. Oh, so how will Brock Lesnar, how will CM Punk react to Brock Lesnar? And did Paul Heyman have anything to say? I mean, to do with uh, uh, Brock showing up on Raw last week? Um, we'll have to wait to find out how that turns out. So, and before we get to the actual review, I want to remind everybody to check out my sponsor, TheDreamElite.com, for, for all your WWE, TNA, and uh, MMA news and reviews. Plus, mine should be up uh, sometime in the near future. They're under renovations right now, but they have assured me the leader of the group, uh, the uh, site has uh, assured me that my videos will be up as soon as possible, so you can check them out there. That all those questions will be answered tonight. Plus, I'm wearing the very first ever AJ Lee uh, T-shirt. Just got it tonight today, along with a new the new Dolph Ziggler T-shirt and both of the new standees. But Oh, it's about to come on live. Let's get straight to the Monday Night Man. War, war opens with Daniel Bryan coming out and proclaiming that he will make uh, Randy Orton uh, tap out or he will pin him tonight in a match. This brings out Randy Orton uh, who tells Daniel Bryan quite simply shut up and fight. The match we the match we thought was I thought was gonna be the main event uh, starts and it doesn't last very long as they both uh, cannot be controlled and they go they uh, wouldn't uh, play and fight all over the uh, wing side area over the announce table against the guard well until uh, the wet and at one point I think Daniel was Dan I think it was Daniel Bryan he uh, punched the referee by accident or hit the referee somehow by accident and uh, eventually the match was called off uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna what the decision is I guess it's gonna be like uh, no contest or something but what Daniel Bryan are being split up or being separated right now as we went to a commercial what uh Good opening for Raw so far. Being the first segment. Uh, kind of disappointed that it went and that the match didn't officially have a real ending, but maybe they'll come back later in the main event and have a real match. I'm hoping, but we can never count on that for WWE. Uh, but we still got a lot more Raw to come. Let's get back to it. Apparently, that da uh, Daniel Bryan and uh, Randy Orton will happen later tonight as a main event match. Uh, 
as stated by and insisted that the general manager make the rematch later tonight. He, after Daniel Bryan leaves the office, McMahon comes in and says that some people think because of Daniel Bryan's stature and his mental makeup that he should not fit to be in the WWE. She asked him what he thought and he just told her to uh, figure it out for herself or something like that. We didn't go to the ring while Sheamus is taking on Team World Scholars. Seamus and his partner, uh, the returning Christian, who returned last Monday, uh, team up to take on Team Rose Scholars. They look like, they look like Sandow and Rose were in, uh, control, or so it looked, until Seamus, uh, had Sandow set up for the ball kick, but, uh, uh, he thought he had him set up for his running, like, power slam move, or he does the tilted cross, or whatever it was called. Uh, but Sandow tagged out to Cody Rhodes. There was a little miscue, but it's a little miscue between, uh, Rhodes and Sandow, which, uh, which way to come, which way Rhodes was gonna come in the wing, and which way Sandow was gonna go out. Which led to Cody Rhodes walking straight into a bull kick from Sheamus, which led to the win. Sheamus gets another win over Rhodes, the Rhodes Scholars, and they announced that on SmackDown there will be a double and street fight between Sheamus and Sandow. Uh, but we still got more war, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, Caitlin gets a quick win over over uh, Oxada. With Layla, Layla in Caitlyn's corner, part way through the match, uh, Caitlyn's because it started up again, but it's dead. <laughs> but this time it was for uh, AJ who came out in a muscle suit with blonde hair, dressed like a dressed like Caitlyn. It was basically mocking her. Uh, Big Ethan came out and reenacted his <laughs> his reveal of himself being the secret admirer of Caitlyn. And AJ basically mocked Caitlyn for, uh, oh, the way she, her, how big her legs were, and for possibly, and AJ's was possibly having an Adam's apple, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Uh, if you, uh, want to laugh, we'll just we watch that part. Uh, but we still got more, uh, war. Plus, Alberto Del Rio will go one-on-one -on -one with Jericho tonight. That should be interesting. But Wars still, Wars still going live. Let's get back to. We're in the middle of we're in the middle of the Del Rio Chris Jericho match. Del Rio's in control as we go to commercial. Um, they did announce that Dolph Ziggler is once again cleared to wrestle. And we'll wrestle. Uh, Alberto Del Rio at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, right now it's Del Rio versus Jericho. I have to wonder if, uh, Segal's gonna want out and jump Del Rio again, or if it's gonna end in a, uh, clean win or loss for either man. But, that's yet to be the same. But, um, everybody keeps talking about how Sick, uh, Del Rio was in the right for what he did, and that Sego would have done the same thing if he was given the opportunity that, uh, Del Rio was in. And they actually, like, compared it to, on um, war. Just now, they compared it to what, um, yeah, what you have to do with the money in the bank. Uh, if you're the money, if you're the money in the bank, what, all, what you have to do when it comes to cashing in. It might be that it's not the same thing. It's like, if you cash in money in the bank, you do it at a time when the guy's weakened, the guy's hurt, like a bad leg or something like that. Or he just had a match or something. Uh, what Del Rio did could have actually put Sigler out of commission forever. If he had, like, 
gave him another concussion. Oh. That'd be like losing a guy like Jericho or Punk or someone of that caliber. I mean, you don't want to put a guy the caliber of Dolph Ziggler on the shelf for good. Well, he can never wrestle again. That's just overkill, in my opinion. But, the real still the world champion. Ziggler gets his rematch at Money the Bank. I hope he makes it that far or actually somehow wins the match. But I'm not sure it'll happen. But let's get back to war. Jericho, Delio, what I want. The uh, Jericho and Delio match ends in a disqualification as Jericho has uh, Delio in a Lord's Jericho and looks like he's about to make him tap out when Wakato Rodriguez jumps in and with the bucket with that has no real use anymore. Uh, except for what he did here, which is hit Jericho on the back of the head with it to cause a DQ. Uh, Delio and when we get start double teaming Jericho until Dolph Ziggler runs out and to even up the odds uh, Jericho hits when we get with a cold breaker uh, allowing uh, Ziggler to hit Delio with a zigzag the two, uh, Jericho and Ziggler still each other down it until Jericho decides to walk out of the way he kind of uh, Shoulder bumps, uh, Ziggler as he's walking out. Ziggler turn, turn, turns around and hits Jericho with a zigzag as a receipt for what happened on SmackDown. Well, uh, Jericho hit Ziggler with the cold breaker. Uh, it, wait, the segment ends with Jericho, uh, rolling out of the wing and walking, walking up the ramp, clutching his head as he walks back. To see uh, Ziggler standing alone in the wing. Could we see a triple threat between Ziggler, Jericho, and Del Rio at Money the Bank? It looks like the thing could be heading that way. But then we go backstage to go Vicky Gattle's office. We'll see him, uh, well, not see him, but well, Triple H is uh, talking to Vicky about what Vince said about. Uh, the match being cancelled. Uh, Triple H says he wants the match to go on as, as planned. Plus, he wants the WWE Universe to be able to, uh, pick the stipulation via the WWE, WWE app. Which, I guess that's gonna happen. What, but what I also forgot to mention before was, I think he was walking backstage a couple of segments ago and ran in, uh, ran in to see a punk who basically was annoying her but she told him that he will have a match tonight I didn't see or hear if they actually said who he was fighting but he's in a match I guess later tonight um but coming up next they will reveal the official cover for the WWE uh, 2K14 game, the first game being offered, the first WWE game being offered by 2K Sports, uh, we all know the rocks on the cover, but they will, they will reveal the official cover for the game, plus, I heard that they'll, it'll be the, uh, world premiere of the, uh, commercial for the game tonight, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But the cover will be revealed tonight. I'm wondering if the lock's gonna actually be there or if it's just gonna be a reveal. Someone else revealing the cover, but that's about to happen, so let's get back to it.